Hey there, internet people. It's Shelly, and um, had uh, we had a more thoughtful and lengthy video that we wanted to do. First, we've been away for a few days. We had a member of our family pass away, so our family a lot of stuff right now. Um, and we were gonna maybe talk about that, but um, in the midst of this, we have had someone um, that we knew a long time ago that worked with our mom, um, and they reached out to us and contacted us be a messenger today and we wanted to share this to just so that you can see how um, dead naming someone can be problematic and so uh, if, in case you haven't joined us before we're Shelly Berry we are documenting our transition our transformation as a non-binary transgender uh, individual, neurodivergent. And so we have had our name legally changed to our preferred name, and we no longer go by our dead name, the name that we had for most of our life that was a, uh, we are assigned male at birth, and we are in the process of changing our social security number and also our birth certificate. This person knows that. And when we first came out, <clears throat> they posted on our timeline and made uh, derogatory comments, hurtful comments, and uh, a certain fundamentalist religious uh, stance and we blocked him and we did not uh, think that we would hear from them it's been six months since we blocked them from seeing our update so they have no idea um, where we are now but they do know that we were using our preferred name and we were going by our uh, gender identity before we block them and we told them that when we block them but today in the midst of our family's uh, difficult time they messaged us and we're going to share the screen just so that you can see um, and maybe take some knowledge away from this um, this is the message it says hey dead name and we blocked any kind of identifying things um, so that we don't want anyone to, to bug the person or uh, try to shame them or whatever. Their way is their way, and we don't want to, uh, we don't want anything bad to happen to them or anything like that. Um, but it says, hey, dead name. Your mother is going to need help since our stepfather passed away. I so wish you could move back down here and maybe get a job at local state university. I know that may be impossible, but I'm worried for her to not have any help. She means a lot to me. And this is insulting in so many ways. To It is insulting to us because she's Address, they're addressing us by a name that we no longer go by and asking us to do something for our mom that we have sisters who are in the area who are with our mom right now and who are have live within a stone's throw of her and have been with her through the whole process of our stepfather dying. So 
to to say that we need to move back to the state uh, is really an insult to them, uh, to our, our sisters who have been very helpful and have been more than accepting of our transition as well. Um, so that's the first thing, the assumption that since we are the oldest child, that somehow we should be the person who is moving 14 hours away uh, to, to get a job uh, so that we can be there for her. The second thing that is insulting, or the third thing, is that she wouldn't have any help from them and also that she does not understand, they do not understand the very real danger that we would be putting ourselves in if we were to move back down to where our family is from. Our family is from a state that is not known for being uh, trans friendly, not known for being friendly to many people who are not white, cishet, heteronormative people. And this is also a rural area of the state where people have guns and are known to fly Confederate flags proudly. So we are going there soon to be with the family over, over the holiday, but uh, we will be um, appearing for our mom's sake as our former identity. Uh, but that's for our mom. And that is only so that she will be able to have the space to deal with the grief that she has for her soulmate uh, passing away. But that's not for this person to ask. It's not for this person to assume. It's not for this person to contact us. She is not a member of our family. She is not related to any of us. She worked with her mom many years ago. But so anyway, we wanted to share this again, not to shame the person who, po who sent the message to us, but to show how misgendering and dead naming someone uh, is damaging, it's hurtful. Uh, and so anyway, that's all we wanted to share. We hope you're all doing well. Our transition is going along as smoothly as it can. Um, we're trying to manage everything going on with the health issues and the, the transition and also this and the end of the semester. Um, and we hope that you're having uh, a, a day filled with joy uh, as well. So namaste, and we'll talk to you again. If we can figure out how to stop the <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.